Hey guys, what's up? Today I have an RU match. This one is against uh, Yus. Y U S. I think I battled him before, and I think I had that exact same like reaction to his name. I'm like, okay. Um, he's also got kind of an odd team, including a Dragonair and a Weezing for some reason. Um, not really sure why he has the Weezing. He already has Cafagrigus, which is an amazing physical wall, and it's fine against fighting and ground. It's not really a big deal, but. I don't know. Whatever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lead with my Uxie to get my Stealth Rock up because he's got no spinner and might as well get them up as soon as possible. He's going to lead with his Cofagricus and start to set up on me on turn one, which is kind of dumb. Especially since I have Mandibuzz and Mandibuzz either have Toxic or Whirlwind and then they can have Taunt and stuff. So like Taunt with any... Well, Taunt and Toxic would shut down his rest and cause him to die. Uh, and Whirlwind, as I'm just going to go for, is going to phase him out. Uh, he does get a crit hidden power fighting, which is good, because that means that even at plus two, even at a crit, not even a two at KO, not even close. Uh, plus, I'm faster than him anyways, but I don't want to be roosting while he's hitting with hidden power fighting, because that would be stupid, because then I'd be taking double damage, because it's super effective, because I'm not flying anymore. So, uh, blow him out into a dragon arrow, go for the brave bird, it really doesn't do that much damage. He's going to hit me with a dragon tail, except miss, so not hit me, like attack me with Dragon Tail, I guess. I'm going to go for the Brave Bird again because I'm basically only losing Left Ears Recovery, maybe a little bit more than that. And he goes for the Dragon Dance, and I'm like, why do you have Dragon Dance and Dragon Tail? Do you do realize Dragon Tail is, rever is reduced priority, right? Like, yeah. Uh, he goes for the rest here, which I should have seen coming, but um, actually I think I am going for the Taunt. No, I go for the Brave Bird again. Um, I should have went for Taunt as soon as I saw Dragon Dance, but, you know, whatever. He's going to get the Shed Skin immediately activating, which I don't think ever happens to me, but, you know, whatever. Uh, he Dragon Dance this again, and I'm just going to blow him out at this point, because I don't want to be taking plus two physical attacks. I'm going to take plus two special attacks. Um, but, yeah, that's that's fine. I'd rather not deal with, uh, you know, Dragon Air that's plus two and stuff, because he might have Dragon Claw still, and he just, like, you know, went for Dragon Tail just for phasing. But I go for Roost. Just to see if he has Thunderbolt, because I know if he goes for Thunderbolt and I'm roosting, then it's not going to do a lot. But he does will with me, which is unfortunate, but I don't really care, because I actually have two Heal Bellers on this team, which is a little weird, but meh, whatever. And uh, speaking of Heal Bellers, I'm going to go to Uxie for that reason, plus, you know, the whole super effective psychic thing and stab and all that stuff. Uh, the reason I have Heal Bell in this is because U-Turn really doesn't do that much damage, and you're not really fast. Well, I mean, you have decent speed, but it's like, I don't know. I just don't... I think Heal Bell's a better move. But, um... Yeah, anyways. Whatever. Uh, so I go for the uh, Thunder Wave, predicting the switch, but he's actually not going to go for the switch because he wants to Will-O-Wisp an Oxy. I don't, I don't know why, but... All right. Um, then I'm going to go for Psychics. And uh, here, I figured he'd stay in and go for the Pain Split. So I should have went for the Heal Bell to heal off both burns and not take damage and not take quite so much from this Pain Split. But uh, I'm just like, eh. And it ends up not working out for me, but, you know. So I could have made the better play, but uh, it doesn't not a big deal. Really, to be honest, on his team, the only thing that's very threatening is his Metacham. And I'm still not even really that worried about it. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to get a crit here on my Psychic on his Boofalant to pay him back kind of for his Hidden Power Fighting crit. Although mine does quite a bit more, even though I have no boost, which is sort of weird. But uh, my thing is specially defensive, so yeah. He's going to go for Taunt as I go for the Heal Bell. Um, never seen Taunt on a Boofalant. Wasn't even really sure I'd learned it. I know a lot of things do get Taunt, but not a lot of things use it kind of thing. Um, but then he switches out to Weezing when he knows I'm going to Psychic. I kind of want, didn't want this to kill, because if it didn't, I would have gotten two turns of Leftovers instead of one. But I get a crit, which I don't think mattered necessarily. It might have, depending on the damage roll, but I get a crit, so it killed him anyways. Um... He's going to go to Metachamp. I'm going to switch to Selgor because I'm like, I'm not really sure what he's going to use, but I don't really need a Selgor uh, that much because he does have something that resists it. But he goes for Trick, which in which case Sticky Hold comes out to work perfectly because now he's still locked on a Trick because he still has his choice item and he can't do anything. I'm going to go for the U-turn. I figured he'd switch to Cofagrigus, so I could have hard switched just to save life orb recoil, but eh, whatever. Um, just in case he didn't. So... I go to Lilligant, I'm going to scare him out because of the sleep powder, he doesn't want to be asleep, and that's like one of the annoying things, it's not really a threat, because I can Quiver Dance up with him, 
but uh, he doesn't want to be put to sleep. So he's going to switch to his Electivire, which doesn't have Vital Spirit, but I guess he didn't value it. Like, Electabuzz gets it, but I don't... He gets Motor Drive. Does he get Vital Spirit for his Dream World? I don't think so. I don't think he gets a Dream World. Or I guess he does, because Meg Mortar does. So maybe it is Vital Spirit. And I'm just being stupid. I don't know, whatever. Anyways, it doesn't matter, because I don't even have Sleep Powder. Like I said, I have two Heal Bellers. This is another one, and this is my more defensive one. Um, and I have Quiver Dance, Hidden Power, and uh, Giga Drain to complement it. Because Sleep Powder, yeah, puts away one threat, but I'm, like, defensive, so I can set up a bunch of times. And Thunder Wave and Toxic are a little more annoying to me than worrying about one thing to be put to sleep. Like, I'd rather clear that big threat than, you know? Um, so... He goes into Boofland. I'm assuming he has Sap Zipper, so I'll go for Hidden Power, but it still kills him anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm going to go for the Giga Drain here. He's going to Calm Mind, even though it's easily a 2-hit KO. I, I don't know. I guess he thought... Like, I have no special attack, and I'm leftover, so... But it's still plus 2 in Stab, so I, I don't know why he did that. Although, you know, uh, Shadow Ball wouldn't have done that much damage, because I do have plus 2. Uh, I'm going to crit his Metachan, which I don't think mattered at all. And then he's going to go into his Dragonair, which is weird because my hidden power is not going to even come close to killing him, because he's got, like, a Violate and stuff. And he goes to Dragon Tail, I'm like, why didn't you just do this before? I mean, granted, Metachan was really the only threatening thing left. I mean, his Cofagrius is kind of annoying, but, I mean, I still have my entire team. So, uh, it's not really a big deal. But uh, he really should have just went out to this sooner. And uh, that would have been better. Maybe he was just figuring I still had Sleep Powder, just didn't want to use it. I don't know. I still, like like I said, like I usually say, it's like, if it's your only chance, like, I mean, I guess he could have thought Cofagrigus would live, but why send in, you know, Bufaland first and Metacham? It's like, again, I have min speed and I still outsped him, so it's... I don't know what he was kind of doing, but um, as he told me at the beginning of the battle, he's kind of new to the tier anyways, which is, uh, that's fine. That's, I guess, goes to sort of explain why he had the Pokemon he had. But anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the battle, because it was pretty cool, and it was actually 6-0, which I didn't even realize, to be completely honest. I was like, oh yeah, I, I guess I didn't lose anything. I really only used, like, Uxie and Mandibuzz, and so I'll go for a little bit there to stop this. I, I, I would have loved to be able to say I did that on purpose. Like, I figured he might trick, which makes sense, because I am kind of a wall, but I didn't, like, predict. I was just like, maybe he'll high jump kick, and I can resist it, but... Or just, I just don't need a Selgor, because Cofagrigus. But, um... Yeah, it ended up working out, and so did the rest of the battle. So, anyways, uh, done blabbering. See you guys later.